Today I would like to talk about the jQuery UI sortable and I would like to show you how that works and let's just get started. So if you look at, uh, I'm going to demonstrate uh, this uh, jQuery UI and there's a plugin called sortable and how you can use it. All right. So let's just go back here and uh, let me just first give you a demo and then I will explain you the code and everything else. So let's say we have two lists here. One is called not selected, another one is selected, and we want them to be in uh, some particular order that the user can specify. And they can also add some new things in the list. So let's say I just say new things, I will add that. And uh, here it is. And usually when I just add it, it will go into the not selected session. And let's say between these two lists, you want to be able to reorder things. Let's say you wanted this new thing to be at the very top. So you could do that. Uh, maybe you want to move item two to in the middle of here, and then maybe move item six uh, and item nine and item four. And, but you get the idea that the user can essentially um, move things between the two lists and add things and then they can kind of submit it to the server end and I have a little form so I'm just going to do a submit and here you can see that uh, we get two things not selected is basically in order new things item 6 through item 4 and here you have item 7 through item 5. So let me just show you the code that you can use uh, based on jQuery UI sortable and how you can do that. So let's just hop over to the code. Uh, this uh, is basically the uh, style information uh, that you can just get from the jQuery UI sortable and just use the default uh, sorted uh, information styling. So that's really not a big deal here. Uh, first thing I done was just added a little button there. So we need to be able to get the button text. So I have an ID called text region name and uh, that's pretty much it uh, here is the main uh, code uh, you have the form and in the form uh, i put in some headers for not selected and selected that's pretty easy and this is uh, basically uh, we have an unordered list of not selected and unordered list of id selected so this is selected and this is not selected and we put both of them in a class because we want to be able to connect these two and then let's say i call this call connected sortable and here you have this class called connected sortable. So let's hop over to the JavaScript code. Uh, basically, the first thing to do here is to initialize and say, okay, my this list is going to be controlled by sortable and it needs to be connected with this particular class dot connected sortable. And uh, here we call disable selections. So you do that for one list and you do the same thing for the second list. That's pretty easy. Uh, here, this is just the code that has to do with uh, getting the text that is typed in, in and then we submit it it gets that value and here it is appending it to the not selected list and it's adding it to the UI state default and uh, that's pretty much it. it clears the value so the next time the user can enter this again and a form on submit uh, what we are doing here is we are just saying we declare a variable called not selected selected and uh, we say not selected since we know it's an ally uh, we're going to run basically the jquery each function and get that and push it onto the not selected array and push this onto the selected array and you can get this and i'm not submitting the form so i'm just putting in form and printing it to the console so that's pretty much all the code that you really need uh, another thing that i wanted to just kind of highlight bit that uh, as a visual cue to the users so you can see uh, the us user can usually tell that if some item came from some other list because it is like a little different styling and the way to do that was essentially in the class where you have the list elements is added as two different things so this is added as UI state default and this is added at UI state highlight so thank you for uh, watching this screen shortcast if you want to watch this and other main videos you can just go to my website at Gore Associates search for Gore Associates and you can search for this and other videos. Thank you very much for your time.